Thank you. The secretary of the VA in Leavenworth today responding to charges against a former physician assistant who's accused of sexually abusing veterans. 41 Action News reporter Lexi Souter broke this story last summer. She spoke with the secretary today. I asked Secretary Robert McDonald when he learned of the allegations against Mark Wisner and the Eastern Kansas VA Hospital. He said immediately that was June of 2014, but Mr. Wisner kept practicing here until February of 2015. Now, Secretary McDonald asking veterans to give them another chance. What would you tell veterans? Many don't want to return here for care. What are you going to do to help give them? Give them another chance. I mean, you know, we are trying to create a VA healthcare system that every veteran can be proud of. In a quick trip from D.C. to KC, Veterans Affairs Secretary Robert McDonald addressed the multiple lawsuits facing the VA and former physician assistant Mark Wisner. And obviously, we take seriously the safety of our veterans, the well-being of our veterans. There's nothing more important. But veteran Darren Short and an alleged victim of Mark Wisner doesn't believe the secretary's statement. It sickens me to see what happens here on a day-to-day -day basis and it, it's this vicious cycle. I'm a 22-year active duty veteran, Afghanistan, Iraq, Operation New Dawn. I, I just don't get it. So I, I have simultaneously sent a personal email to the secretary. Short says he was abused by Wisner on six separate occasions. He's trying to put that behind him. Now all he wants is good medical care. It is um, inadequate at best, um, and it's... Um, it's borderline criminal. Secretary McDonald says all of the VAs across the country are undergoing a transformation right now. Five steps. He admits they're not there yet, but hopes they can get the Eastern Kansas VA Hospital back on the right track. Reporting in Leavenworth, Lexi Suter, 41 Action News.